The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Attention sky watchers, this is for you. The International Space Station will be visible for three minutes here this evening, starting at 1048. You want to look kind of to the northwest sky, about 15 degrees above the horizon. There you'll see a fast non-blinking object flying across the sky, and voila, there you will have the ISS. In addition to that, we've got the flower moon making its presence here very soon. It peaks at 9.53 a.m. on May the 23rd, which is Thursday. Certainly it's going to be our full moon for the month of May. Uh, the next full moon will come for us here on the first day of summer on June the 21st. But the flower moon here in May is named after the blooming flowers here in the northern hemisphere. Want to show you what's going on out to the west of us and we've got really nasty weather again towards our nation's heartland. They have seen such incredibly nasty weather for the, about the last about uh, roughly 14 days or so and the trend continues tonight. I want to show you what we're seeing here out across portions of Iowa and Minnesota. Anytime you see a purple box here, that's never a good sign. That is a confirmed tornado on the ground. Uh, you know that by our uh, computer system here when it's purple a confirmed tornado on the ground just to the east of Rochester, Minnesota. We've got more severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings extending from Iowa all the way south into Columbia, Missouri, even areas say near um, Fayetteville, Arkansas, going to see some nasty weather here over the, about the next 90 minutes or so. So this is a line of storms that is packing a major, major punch. And yes, this is indeed our next weather maker uh, for the rest of tonight. We've got the highest threat for severe weather in the northern plains and Midwest. On Wednesday, it moves slightly to the east towards the Ohio and Mississippi River valleys. And then on Thursday, the highest risk for severe weather will be towards the Mid-Atlantic and also the Northeast, not to mention portions of the Great Plains. Future Tracker shows any showers or thunder showers around right now dissipating by about 10 or 11 o'clock. OK, after that, we have some fog developing. Tomorrow starts dry with some sunshine. It ends up with a little more cloud cover, especially west. Speaking of west, that's where we have the best chance for a few showers or thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon. So the mountains have a better chance for some isolated thunderstorms tomorrow in comparison to the Piedmont. Any activity then winds down tomorrow evening. And then Thursday again starts dry for us before more showers and thunderstorms roll in during the afternoon and evening. We continue to have that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms into Friday. I do think that we're going to have a couple more waves of energy pushing in as we in, in, move into the holiday weekend. I, I'm thinking those uh, Friday and Thursday going to be a little bit wetter than Sunday and Monday. So overall, we are looking at a higher threat for heavier downpours and a more widespread rain on Thursday and Friday than what we're going to be seeing here this holiday weekend. As we look ahead to Memorial Day, certainly going to stay warm, going to be humid. And on Memorial Day, we're still looking at that chance for hit or miss showers and thunderstorms, especially again from lunchtime on. Generally speaking here, once we fall into the sunset weather pattern on Thursday, lasting into Tuesday of next week, the best chance for rain and thunderstorms will lie for us after lunchtime each and every day. Temperatures stand for us right now, 70 in Hot Springs, 75 in Withville, lower 80s as we speak in Roanoke, Danville, and also at Smith Mountain Lake. For tonight, some fog is possible. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy. Any showers end in the NRV here pretty soon. Overnight lows tonight, 50s and lower 60s. Tomorrow, going to have a few more showers and thunderstorms developing after about 1 or 2 p.m. Highs tomorrow, well into the 80s. Highest elevations, upper 70s, but most of us again tomorrow, well above average. About 10 to 15 degrees above average on Wednesday. Then we're about 80 to 85 Thursday through Tuesday. Pretty good shot for scattered showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. More hit or miss in nature as we go Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday of next week.